Hi guys, this is Bijit here. So today we're gonna discuss about how we can create uh, dynamic parameterization in Jenkins, which means, uh, let's say you want to have uh, multiple drop-down options which are interlinked. So let's say I have um, I have a menu where which says a city, so, and uh, there's another option which says a uh, country. So if I'm selecting a country, it should basically list out all the uh, the countries uh, which I have added. And if I'm selecting a city, it should list out all the cities. So what we'll do is we'll try to create multiple drop down options. And once you have the desired uh, inputs, once you click on build, it basically triggers a shell script. So we are using a remote host where I have a test script which will basically uh, echo the output of uh, whatever the last input which we gave. So once you click on build, it basically lists out uh, or it basically uh, takes the last input and it will print it into your remote host. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is uh, we will first, I'll show you the job. Uh, which I have already created and uh, then uh, we'll try to create a new job and I'll also show what plugin I have installed and we'll try to execute it so let's get started so this is my Jenkins so this is the uh, job which I have created so if I'll click on build with parameters, you can see there are multiple options. So if I'm not selecting any option by default, it says select an environment from the drop down and select the server. So my automation is to create, um, so select a, a, an environment production and under which you'll have a server name and under which you'll have a printers. So let's say I want, I, I got an alert which says my printer is down. So what I'll do is I'll select the server, I'll select the environment, I'll, uh, I can search the printer or I can select from the drop down and I can click on build. So what it does is it will go to the remote host and whatever the script you have in place, it will add the input over there and it will do the desire, uh, it will get you the desired result. So uh, let's say uh, I want, I have a production server and then it will list out all the production servers for you so if i'll say i have a development it will list out the development so let's say i have a production server and if i'll say i have if i'm uh, by default it goes to the uh, prod 01 so if i say prod 01 it, it will list out all the printers configured in prod 01 same goes for prod 02 and same for prod 03 and so on right so if I'll do prod 01 and if I see um, I have three printers, what I'll do is if even if I want to search it, let's say I have n number of printers, what I can do is and the best part is this is not case sensitive, so you can give uppercase, lowercase, it doesn't matter. So if I'll do 03, it will uh, automatically list out the 03 printer. I'll click on build and if I'll go over here and go to the console output, you can see the my script got executed, the output is the exit state is zero which means success so if i'll go to my server so i have two servers jenkins this is my jenkins server if i'm connected to the uh, to the other server where i'm executing these uh, scripts so which is a remote host so if i'll do as so if i'll check there is a test script which basically takes the input and it will uh, redirect the uh, the uh, the output to a temp uh, slash test file right so if you see i tried uh, i said that my last input is printer 03 so if i'll go to the slash temp print uh, test you see the printer 03 and let's say if i want to change to something else um, i have configured it for production servers only so you can see uh, the printer list for production if i'll go to the dev there are no uh, so no printers being configured right because uh, i have i mean as a test case i have built it for the production servers only so let's say i want to change it to uh, prod 03 which has two printers so i'll click on build if i'll go back you see the new uh, printer name uh, i mean the, the the file got updated so now let's try to build this job 
okay so what I'm gonna do is I'll open two screens and okay so printer automation and I'll click on configure so I'll try to explain what exactly is happening over here so basically uh, okay before that let's try to uh, understand what plugin is required to install this so I'll go to the manage plugins and you will uh, you have to go to the available but I'll go to the install because I already installed it and I'll search for active choices plugin so this plugin basically has uh, three different options um, so the first one is the uh, the active uh, choice parameters where you'll give the inputs like I have given the production dev stage uh, like different environments you can give and then uh, you have a reactive parameter so basically whatever the input you're giving in active parameters the reactive parameters uh, takes those as an input and it will display uh, the output for you okay so once you in, uh, install this if I'll go back right so if you see my first so um, I'll show you how to configure it but let's try to understand this so I have the first one the first choice is active choices parameter and you have to use groovy, uh, groovy script to uh, configure this so this is the groovy script which basically returns uh, um, um, different uh, inputs so basically if you see I have given one uh, one uh, the first option is a blank so that by default it should prompt me that I should have uh, uh, an environment uh, what do you call it? an environment uh, selected so if I'm if let's say if I'm not giving this by default it will go to the production it says okay uh, you're already in production and these are the servers uh, under the production um, environments so just to make it uh, uh, just to make sure I'm not uh, executing a null or blank scripts so I just uh, uh, created a blank uh, parameter over there so that by default um, uh, I mean it will prompt me and it, it will not allow me so let's say if, if you go back and if I'm so if I'll go to the build with parameters and if you see I cannot select anything from the drop down because I have my environment uh, variable as blank so if you see if I'm selecting production then it will prompt me in options so this basically helps you to make sure uh, a particular environment is selected okay so if, if uh, there is a fallback it will return an error and so this is a description which you see over here right you can add the same description for uh, um for other uh, for reactive uh, plugins also so if you see over here i have multiple options it says choice type so right now i just want to go with a single uh, input parameters if you want to if you want to have multiple parameters or if you want to have multiple uh, uh, inputs to be checked like uh, in this one if i'm selecting the production then it will in in the drop down it will give me an option to check multiple options i can have a prod 0 and prod 2 selected but i just want to go with a single select so i'm just using it so uh, same way you have a drop down you have a radio button you have a checkbox everything okay and uh, i don't want to enable filters for this because i'm pretty specific like i know i have uh, four environments dev uad test uh, and uh, maybe SIT or stage right so once you give this okay and I have named as environment so once you give this and if I go to the reactive parameter so if you see I have added it and I have a groovy script which says if my um, so it basically says you should pull the inputs from the uh, active parameters which is named as environment so if my environment is equal to production these are the servers which it should return and if it's in uh, development these are servers same goes for test and stage and if there is a blank it basically returns please select an environment from the drop down right and uh, if it fails it's, it basically throws an error unknown environment then what I did is I added again a reactive parameter which basically is linked to my reactive parameter so if you see here it says 
by selecting the environment i am getting the servers but when i am selecting the servers i should also get the printers so this is how you get it so you you name i mean i have named as printer my groovy script again is the same thing you take uh, if i am selecting a server which is a prod 01 it should return these many printers and if nothing is selected if it's blank it should throw an error by default it will throw an error okay and if it fails it's an unknown uh, server and you have to add the reference parameters so here uh, in my reactive parameters if i'll go on the top you see i have named, named as environment and if i'll go to the react the my first reactive parameter if you see the filter it basically says environment which is the active parameter right and if i'll go to the third one you see i have given it as servers which is my second uh, reactive parameter so this is how it works okay and then what I'll do is uh, to, to just uh, to just to make sure everything is working fine what I'll do is I'll try to execute a script remotely so I have created this is my uh, remote server if you see over here right so what I did is I created a script and I'm executing it remotely so what I'm saying is so if it's a Linux you'll give a dollar sign right yeah and yeah so if you see i have given like uh, this should uh, this script should get, get executed right and whenever i am getting a parameter so dollar one is like the first one so if you see so whatever the output uh, the the, uh, the printer active choice reactive parameter is giving it should paste it over here right so this is how it works so now we'll, what i'll do is just to make it easy for uh, everyone I'll try to build a new project and I'll copy the same script so that uh, it will be easy for you guys so let, let's uh, uh, name it as a test freestyle project okay and then I'll say this project is parameterized and i'll say i want to go with first one which is which is an active choice parameter right now <coughs> i can name it as uh, i mean let's go with the same uh, naming convention environment i'll say let's say groovy script i'll go back let me copy that for you just to uh, keep everything same i'll just copy the same script okay and uh, fallback script i can say uh, return return uh, error okay. okay now uh, it will be all same single select uh, this looks good and now what i'll do is i'll use the the, the reactive parameter uh yeah so i'll name it as a service it will be a groovy script and let's copy this done and um, okay let me copy the same error uh, so that we can keep it same so this is done reference should be uh, environment uh, I don't want a filter over here and now I'll go again for a reactive parameter where I'll say this should be printer okay now I'll copy this out and paste it now again if you want you can I mean any error message you can give but I just want to keep it simple so I'll keep this one right and referenced parameter i'll say this is servers okay and enable filters yes so now well, as in printer i can have uh, 10 50 100 printers so i'll keep a filter over here so that i can just search it rather than uh, scrolling it down okay now i as i have name let's see everything looks good Active choice and uh, let's go on top. 
uh, environment looks good servers looks good and this is printer okay it looks good now as we are testing it out so what we'll do is we'll execute a remote so I already have few servers uh, so I'll just skip this one and let's copy this out you can have your own script so this is as this is a kind of a test lab so I just want to make sure everything is working so I'll just copy this out Group and I'll say slash dollar printer oops sorry it looks like I have closed it so let me do it again server is there hmm. printer ruby script copy it out looks good yeah so I just added a pre-built script you can have a pre-post uh, as per your desire so I'm just saving it and it's done so now if I'll go to the uh, back to dashboard I can see I have a test I'll go back I'll click on build with parameters and I'll select production just looks like something is wrong over here so it out again save it and click on build with parameters yep it looks good now so if I go to the production I have it to build so now if I will go back and console output you see the output was a success I will go to the server time 0 to go, to go back Let's test it out. So if I say production for 03 at 7 done. And also let's test out uh, one more thing. If I'm going with uh, 4, if I'm doing print. See if you see printer, if I give 06, it will not give me any output because it does not exist. If I give 4 is also not there, 3 is here. For that, let me do that. Yeah. Build. and if I look over here yep, it's done so this is how it works uh, yeah thank you so much for watching thank you